Okay, to um, start unwrapping this vehicle, we'll apply an unwrap modifier to the chassis and open our UV editor. As per usual, we're kind of presented with um, nothing that's really useful at all. So I think the way we're going to break this down is into different sides. So we've got one side of the vehicle here, one side here, the top, and maybe the front and the back as well. So it shouldn't be too difficult to unwrap because it's so low poly. Um, so using F4 to show our wireframe as well, we'll increase the angle snap and turn that on. And select the side like that, maybe it needs to be a bit higher. Then we'll turn that off because we're going to take the windows out of that side as well. Okay, so if we unfold that, let's just have a look. Okay, it's not done a bad job, but it isn't perfect. We can see we've got a problem here where this comes down. We could fix that manually, but let's try planar mapping that from the side instead and then you can scale it down that might give us a better result that looks pretty good remember to, we can use the checker material to, to actually refine this later on so we'll do the same on this side turn on angle snap again and select the side, turn off angle snap and deselect those windows and then play our map that section. Okay so those are two sides. Um, the next section we're going to do is the top so again angle snap on that and we will select all of this like so turn off angle snap and then we'll take off the, the glass ok so we'll try and wrap in that so we'll use unfold And again we've got the odd issue here, so let's try playing our map in that again. So that looks pretty good. And we need to scale it down to actually be the right size. Make sure we don't deselect it. Okay, that's looking good. So what do we actually have left to do? We've got the other side and the back and the front there. Now you have to decide here what you're going to do with this. Are you going to have this bumper as a different colour? Maybe that will extend around there. If so, then you might want to have it as a separate kind of part of the UVs to make it easier to texture paint. I would say we definitely know we're going to have the base as one colour. So let's try selecting the whole base area. And we'll unfold that. That actually looks like it's done a good job. You can always try relaxing it as well. See if we get anything better out of that. But we can always, well, we'll check that when we come to apply the checker material anyway. Okay, so we've still got this front section to do. So we'll select all that, and again, we'll try unfolding that. Okay, it's not done a great job. So we'll separate this off, and you can use tools, break, 
to actually remove that. And we could consider putting it on the side here, but I think we'll leave it detached. And we can use rotate. I'm just going to go to edge mode and make sure that I've rotated that the right way around. There we go, you can see the blue edge there, so that means that's attached to there. Now I can select all that and just scale it down. And this section here, go into face mode, select them all, and then try and fold in that again. It still doesn't work, we'll plane our map that. Fit that and then scale that down. Again, we could try relax on that just to stretch it out a little bit. <laughs> if it doesn't work, remember to try face angles. And there's our front bumper. We've still got this back section to do here, so we'll select that. Again, unfold. And there's the back. I can see this top poly is connected to that, so I know I need to rotate that way. Or I'll scale it down. And then the last thing of these is this window section here. So we should be able to select all those. Oh no, we've still got the uh, two bumper areas, sorry the bumper and the spoiler. So I'm going to select those two and hit the grow tab and unfold that. If we don't get a good result We can try planar instead. And then scale it down so it kind of matches the scale on here. Now because it's planar it's not going to have done these two side sections correctly so we'll have to fix those. We should be able to just pull them off like this. So a bit of manual tweaking and that's fine. As long as it matches this shape just stretched out then we're okay. Okay, so that'll sit around there. And just get it down. So let's scale these down now. Okay, so the last thing is the spoiler. Well, we'll do the windows first. Oh no, we'll do the spoiler first actually. So we'll try unfolding this. hasn't done a brilliant job. So we'll try breaking that down a bit further. We'll try doing all these as one unfold. Try taking these two off. Now the reason it's having trouble is because of the way it's diagonal like that. So let's just unfold this section. So we can start with that. Then that's those two there. So we can just stick those on. To make sure that's right, I'm going to select those edges there. 
So we can see they're actually the wrong way around. So we'll just put those to there. And then turn on snap and actually it's saying they're wrong. Okay, so that there touches to there, so we just need to flip this. So flip horizontal. Okay, it still doesn't like that. Now it's saying that it's that side. So I'm just going to drag those to there. Okay, so it's nice and easy this one. Let's just go to there. To there, to there, and then if we go to element mode or polygon mode, just select the rest of the model. Rotate that, scale it up. Okay, so we can see those blue edges stick to there. So again, we can. Just use snap, come off element mode, just snap those onto there. Okay, so select this and join it up. Again, we can see those two joins are there, so. And the same with this one. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get the scale correct. So in our material editor here, Well, that will just make a new material and we'll assign our checker into this. And basically the way we're going to work here is we're actually going to have two textures because here we have two materials for our model. So we need to fit all of this into one and then all of this into its own one. So there's no point doing these yet, we'll do those separately. So we just need to get everything to match to scale here. So I'm going to use these squares here, so just match everything to that. You can see this one isn't quite square. Make it square. See this bit. And then this front section. Now the base we're never really going to see, so I'm going to give that less extra space than everything else. Okay, that will do for now. Now we just need to actually line it up. And what we're going to do is actually line the sides of the car here and here. So if we rotate that one, we can slot it into there. So that's a 
and we can even join those up again by using the snap tool Um, so another little tool we could use here, turn off by element, go to tools, target world. And just weld those together. <coughs> so again go back to move, select this and line it up on top. And then go to out of element mode, tools, target world. So, okay, so if we go to polygon mode now and just select this entire section, we'll place that in our texture and just shrink it down slightly to fit. We'll see if we can jam everything into this area. And we've still got the front and the back to fit in. So maybe I'm thinking since that's just going to be one colour anyway, shrink it down. You have to remember we've got the spare space in here where the window should be, or would have been. So I'm going to put the back area in there. And then put the front area here. and the back area next to it. And then we'll slot the spoiler into here. Again that's all just going to be one red colour so we can probably get away with shrinking it down a bit. Let's just try moving this right up to the edge of the texture. And the same with these. Okay, that's all good. So we've managed to fit the entire car into our texture space. Okay, so now we can work on the windows. So as I said, there's going to be two textures. The first texture is this one, which will be the car. So let's render that one out. So we'll use a 1024 by 1024 and set this to solid. And then it render UV template. So it's useful as well because any red, red bits you know are an issue. OK, so we'll save this out in a texture folder, and just call it a template. And then in IDs here, if you set this to number 2, that will just show the sky, and number 1 will just show the car. So if we go to sky and select all of the glass, and then just do unfold mapping. Doesn't look like it's done the best job there. So we'll break it down into a small bits. So just this piece here. Okay, what's that? And again unfold on that piece. And 
that piece. If you're finding it does cause some errors, just go back to all IDs and select them in the view here, and then do unfold. And you should be able to then move them out. Okay, so that's all our. That's all the glass. So if we can go back to Daytona Sky, we can now move these into place. Again, we want to make sure the scale is lined up. So I'm going to paste them all off these squares here. Okay, so that's that. So now we just need to get them lined up properly. like so, and then fit them onto our texture plate. There we go. Okay, so we're ready to start texture painting now. I'm going to reapply the original material and then we're going to open Adobe Photoshop and start painting the texture.